Look, America. Do you see what's behind me? It's called our American flag. We need to get back to respecting that flag for what it stands for. Yeah, I'm a disabled American veteran, but no matter how bad I, I, my situation is in life, and I'm, I'm pretty bad off, I still respect, respect, respect my flag. I don't believe in hurting nobody. I don't care who you are. Yeah. If I don't like something, I do something about it by doing uh, protest or peacefully, constructively, and honestly, going out killing police officers is not the answer. No matter how many times you kill one, it's only gonna make your situation worse. Look, I've been all over the world. I've seen poverty. I know what it's like. And I understand, or maybe I don't understand how, how the blacks feel, but I do respect them and I respect what they're trying to do. But not trying to hurt people, I won't respect them. I won't respect that. I respect the good ones, but not the ones that are trying to hurt other people. Whether they're a cop, or a civilian, or a military person, it doesn't matter what. Man, America, wake up. Those that want to cause harm to another American is ridiculous. It's bad enough we have to fight a war somewhere we don't really want to. But fighting a war against ourselves is stupid. I don't know. Hey, look, I'm 63 years old. I'm not, I've got a little bit longer left to live on this earth. But I feel bad for you younger people that are coming up. If this is the way you guys want to look at life, this is crazy. When I was growing up, I didn't like a lot of things that were going on. But I didn't hurt nobody for it. I didn't kill, certainly didn't kill anybody. You got, you got, People killing police officers, and if you notice, I'm not saying one race, I'm saying people. It doesn't matter who's doing the killing. You're just killing. It's crazy. America, come on, I'm begging you, please. There's a way we can do this, is love one another, as God tells us to do. Respect those who respect you. You don't have to like what they're not doing, but you, you protest. What's so hard to understand with that? And then you'll get your way. Like now you've got this internet. People, talk to each other. Shake somebody's hand today. Or smile at them. Smile will make you live a lot longer. And a happier life. Man, I, I, I thank God every day that I'm, I'm alive. I almost died last year. I had kidney failure, both. Stage four. I thought I was on my way out. But I, I'm above ground today, and I'm talking to you, America. And that means anybody and everybody that can hear this. Please. Please. Our trials and tribulations that we have, or I should say tribulations that we have, are not that great that we can't deal with it. God says He only gives you no more than He wants you can handle. So you handle it the way He He would want you to respect uh, human beings.
you know, I, I, like I said earlier, that I'm suffering a lot. A lot of my problems is, is strictly financial, but it's not the end of the world. I wish to God I had something I could turn to and make a change faster, but I have to be patient. I have to wait. And that's the way it goes. The same thing goes for this situation about the police department. Anytime that you need somebody and you call them, they're there. No matter what's behind that door. This is not the answer to go. I'm really upset. I woke up this morning and I heard what was going on in Louisiana. I mean, day after day after day, this is crazy. Americans, we can do better. Whether you're white, black, brown, red, I don't care who you are. Respect each other. But because we have a right to be respected as individuals, not as one race. So, anyways, I'd like to say I love you and I understand and I feel for you. But may God bless you and God bless America. Bye.